Uh, Constantine, I've just been watching you spar with uh, Mr. Jack Cattrall. Yeah. Um, I'm very, very impressed, mate. Thank you. Um, so, I, I know absolutely nothing about you except for you. You're five and always a professional. Yeah. You're from Moldavia. Yeah, living in Plymouth. Yeah, yeah. and um, uh, a very experienced uh, amateur. Yeah, I have. I've been, I've been an old, old champion one time, uh, European few times. I take silver for uh, yacht mm -hmm. for for junior. I take yeah. silver. Yeah, and after I drop boxing, I do nothing. After I meet my coach, I come in England. I've been four years now. Nice. nice. Well, then, how did you get to England four years ago? What was the reason for that? With my friend. Yeah. Uh, what, just friend. on a holiday and. Yeah. No. Mar, you heard me. Yeah. Um. He basically. His uh, coach, as a as a youth, was friends with a, a, a guy from Moldova, and the guy from Moldova. Mate, I'm alright. No, you don't need that camera yeah. on me. <laughs> you just said to me. Look, you where you were. His coach had a friend in Moldova, yeah. and the friend in Moldova was living in Plymouth. This now. camera pissed me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> He's bottling it, right? <laughs> but what happened was the guy that was living in Plymouth. Was, he, had, he was a former professional, undefeated, he had about 200 amateur fights, boxed all over the world as an international and he was going around trying to find a gym for him because he he, he quit from boxing, right. he, 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 he was done, he was he walked away, I'm done, I'm going to get on with my life and everyone was saying no you got to get back in the game, you got to stay in the game so Eugene, the coach, his friend, said no I'm going to find you a gym so he, he, he went around to all the gyms within a 20, 30 mile radius and walked in mine and found me. So he was on the next flight, wasn't you? Yeah, um, and I have a passport because my, my country is not in Europe. Oh, right. Yeah, and I get uh, I get a European passport. I message with Marley maybe two, three months. After he buy me a ticket, he rent me a house, apartment, and I come. Well, yeah. so like I say, I was really impressed with what you've done, but Let's find out how old are you? 22 now. I'm 22? From, yeah, I'm from 2000. I, and you, you box out well to it because I was really surprised because you look yeah, huge Yeah, I box only for, boxing for, only for junior world and for small country. I have a lot of amateur fights but in only my country a lot. But, mm -hmm. but I, yeah, I say I take silver from Europe one time, uh, bronze and just boxing a few times. So but I not box like how I want, I just do boxing just. So as a professional then, really. what weight have you been fighting at? What weight way? wise? You like super welterweight or is you a light middleweight? Well, in, in a few bouts he's had, he's fought at super welter. Yeah. But the last one we was up on the uh, yeah, Wasserman show on, yeah. on Channel 5. Six oh and yeah. Six and, six. and he was 66 6, but he, he was 147 on the scales. And the, the opponent didn't turn up for weighing, but they had to weigh in at the same time. Mm -hmm. So we had to wait three hours. And you think you weighed in at one, hours, one four nine? Hours. Two hours later, for, uh, how many hours? Eight, eight hours. Eight, eight hours later, hours he was later. one four nine, right? Yes. So he was he was a well away. He was right. well away, yeah. So, he, so David Paul Wayne, he's yeah, definitely a well away. Well, he's walking around now. He's walking around that eleven stump. Yeah. He, we just spoke to Jack Gann. Jack said he's walking around at seventy three. Mm -hmm. He said, "What weight you He said, seventy one. I think he weighed in seventy one. Yeah, seventy one. No. And, uh, and how? Did yeah, that... but I'm not training properly because like after holiday for six weeks. Where yeah. have you been? Spain. Moldova, <laughs> <laughs> Spain. Little Italy. So when did you last uh, have your last uh, profile then? My last profile? Yeah. Uh, May. May? 15 May or 6, was it? 16 May. Wow. Oh yeah, then. Yeah, yeah. London. Yeah, London. Yeah, London. Yeah, London. Yeah, London. Yeah, London. Yeah, Yeah, it was. It was uh, yeah, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Last one in May, yeah. Yeah. Right, I do you know something. I'm going to be watching out for you, Constantine, because I was really, really impressed. Um, yeah, thanks a lot. You know, no one lands on Jack Cattrall. Um You did? <laughs> yeah, but I come for take few experience. I come to give experience. Yeah. Well, no. Well, I think you've impressed Jack anyway because, like you say, uh, I think there was talk about you because you, you're similar in size and, and build to um, Jack Cattrall. Uh, sorry, Taylor. to Josh Taylor. No. I don't know. I've never seen Josh Taylor in life. But maybe. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well, you certainly yeah. look like it. So yeah. could be could be good uh, sparring for him. 
further down the line because it looks like the rematch is on sometime in November. Well, it seems that way, and we was we was discussing it all, and obviously you didn't agree with the decision, did you? You had uh, capital winning. Well, no I don't know about it. Yeah. yeah, I don't know about it. I think it's not my job to judge someone. Yeah. No, I just take I come just take about my business. No, but you yeah, but you wanted to help Carlo, didn't you? Yeah, I, I like Carlo. If I don't like him, I don't come. Mm -hmm. Help him because not not I come with good things only only yeah. to help. No, no, yeah. listen, I, I think you you're going to be a big help uh, further down the line. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to. I presume you'll be coming back for in a, in a few weeks time. Then that'll be the plan. That'll be the plan, and and all depending on obviously if if the Taylor folks confirm. If the Taylor folks confirm, then then. I think it'd be crazy to have anyone other than Constantine here for, for, for the sparring camp. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's that's my honest opinion. You'd, you'd, I don't think you get many uh, Southpaws 5 foot 10, 5 foot 11 at that level. Well, like you say, I, I thought he was uh, at least a light middleweight, maybe middleweight. Um, so, like I say, big lad, good boxer. Beautiful. And uh, you put a little smile on my face. So, Constantine, good luck with the rest of your career. Hopefully, I'll bump into you down here. Uh, but I'll definitely be keeping an eye open for you and certainly one to watch. Yeah, thanks a lot. My pleasure, Thank mate. Thank you very much. You too. I'm gonna, listen, I've got to get you on because there's the voice, there's his trainer and his coach. Keep me out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Any girls message him. You take care, mate. Thank you. For all boxing, info, news and latest interviews, amateur and pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.